everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. So for the last 48 hours, I've been solo mining Cortex on two 3060 LHR GPUs, trying to answer the question, is solo mining Cortex more profitable than mining Ethereum? The short answer is yes, it is, by quite a bit. But there are some catches. So what I'd like to do in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about Cortex, the project, I want to talk a little bit about what some of those catches are, and I want to show you my results for solo mining over the last 48 hours. So I'm on the Cortex website, and simply put, Cortex is artificial intelligence on a blockchain. Let's jump over to the GitHub and get a little bit more detail about what that means. So. Cortex has built a blockchain whose virtual machine, the CVM, utilizes the GPU, which can execute AI programs on chain and is compatible with the EVM or the Ethereum virtual machine. In other words, Cortex chain can execute all the Ethereum dApps and on top of that, incorporate machine learning into these dApps. For the first time, instead of a black box, we can run machine learning models on the blockchain in a decentralized, immutable and transparent manner. Network consensus verifies every step of the AI inference. So here's the first catch. Because the uh, virtual machine utilizes the GPU, it requires a pretty hefty or pretty beefy GPU. So if you are mining Cortex in Windows, you need a minimum of a 10 gigabyte graphics card. If you are mining Cortex in a Linux system like Hive OS, you need a minimum of an 8 gigabyte graphics card. So that's why I chose the 3060 LHR for this experiment, because a 3060 LHR graphics card is a 12 gigabyte graphics card. So what I'm doing here can be done in both Windows and Hive OS with this GPU. Okay, so let's jump back to the Cortex website. If you are looking to mine Cortex, which again, this video is just to show you what I'm doing. This is not financial advice. I am not making any recommendations on what you should be mining. I'm simply showing you what my experience was with mining Cortex. So if we click on the Cortex wallet, uh, you can see that there is a free web wallet available for Chrome, iOS, and Android. So just click on the uh, download option that's appropriate for you. Go ahead and get your wallet set up and you'll need that for setting up the miner down the road. All right, let's now jump over to CoinMarketCap and take a look at Cortex. Today is March 16th, 2022. The price of Cortex is currently 23 cents, up 1.23% for the day. And now we're gonna talk about the second gotcha. So if you are looking to sell or trade the Cortex that you are mining and you live in the United States, it is going to be extremely difficult, if not impossible, if you look at all of the marketplaces that support Cortex, uh, you, do see, you do see Binance on the list, but Binance.us does not support Cortex. So unless you are able to use Binance in your geographic region, you are not going to be able to easily trade or sell Cortex. So again, uh, something to think about if you are in the US and you're thinking about mining Cortex, uh, getting rid of it, either in terms of trading it or selling it, uh, is going to be extremely difficult. If you're looking to hodl it and hoping that someday it will be available on a marketplace in the U.S., then by all means, please do so. So here in Hive OS, let's take a look at the setup we have for mining Cortex. We are using Gminer. One of the rigs were on version 2.82. Uh, the other one we are on 2.88, but I don't expect that will make a difference. There are no changes between the two versions that would impact Cortex mining. We are using our RTX 3060 Zotac 12 gigabyte graphics cards. Let's take a look at the overclocks. We're using a plus 120 on the core, 2600 on the memory, 125 watt power limit, and we're getting 2.67 graphs per second on this card. And on this one, we are overclocked at plus 120 on the core, 2550 on memory, 125 watt power limit, and getting 2.64 graphs per second. When I made the decision to solo mine Cortex, I was looking at two crypto calc, and I've been interested in Cortex for quite some time, but I came over here and let's click on Cortex. 
if we put in the numbers, so we're about 5.3 graphs per second, looks like we'd get about 11.68 Cortex per day or $2.73, which is about what we would expect to get on Ethereum. So I thought this is interesting, uh, but I would rather stick with Ethereum because it's something I know and I trust and, and I believe in. But I scrolled down and I was looking at the solo mining and I realized that if I solo mine, I can hit or estimated to hit two blocks per day or 14 Cortex per day. That would be $3.27 per day, which is quite a bit higher than the $2.73 you would expect to get uh, pool mining. So let's jump over and look at the hash rate. The Cortex hash rate, according to two miners, is 19.66 kilograms per second right now. If we look over the course of the month, you see it is declining over time, and over the year, it's even more dramatic of uh, decline. And let's also look at the network difficulty uh, one year as well. You see a network difficulty declining as well. So I thought, you know what, let's roll the dice, let's see what happens, and let's do it for science. So let's jump over to the pool. This is our Cortex Solo mining pool on two miners. And you can see right now we're getting 5.6 graphs per second with an average of 5.78 graphs per second. And let's take a look at the blocks we've hit. So the first time I started doing this was on March 5th, 2022. This was just an experiment I ran, a test that I ran on a single 3060, and I hit a block with 84%. So I thought, this is interesting. This is worth experimenting a little bit, a little bit more with. So I came back on the 14th of March and I threw two 3060s at it. And so just for reference, when I mined, I hit this at 84%. I continued mining and I built my luck up to 16%. So grand total, I had put in 100% luck and I hit one reward. And when I came back and I started solo mining again on the 14th, my luck was already sitting at 16%. So I started mining at 2 p.m. Eastern on the 14th, and within an hour and 11 minutes, I hit a block. And the equivalent of that would have been roughly, let's say, 8% luck. So I was pretty excited. And then I went for almost a full day. I went 22 hours before I hit another block. It was at 138% luck, and I thought, you know what? This isn't going to work out. This isn't worth it. And in the amount of time that I was just kind of examining the situation, I hit another block. And what is this, an hour and 28 minutes later, I hit another block and I thought, okay, well maybe this is gonna be a good thing. Let's let this run a little bit more. So you see I hit another block at 6.03 a.m. this morning with 93% luck. And over the five blocks total, our personal luck is 70%. So, so far this has been really good. So you can see I am still, still mining. I'm at a 33% personal luck right now and still still chugging along. So let's take a look at the last 24 hours. So we've hit three blocks in the last 24 hours for a total of 20.685 Cortex paid out uh, with a dollar value of $4.83. If we go over to what to mine and we put in the Ethereum hash rate and power consumption for the 23060 LHRs, which is 72 mega hash roughly at 220 watts, and calculate this, Ethereum price currently is $2,708. Our estimated revenue is $2.73 per day. So let's go back and look at this again. In the last 24 hours, we've made $4.83 solo mining Cortex, and we would have made $2.73 mining Ethereum. So that is $2.09, is that right? $2, $2.10 more solo mining Cortex than what we would have made mining Ethereum. So to me, it seemed like this is great. This is a no brainer, right? Well, again, I'm gonna circle back to the fact that trying to trade or, or sell Cortex in the United States is extremely difficult, if not impossible. So while on paper, this seems great, and if I was in a place where I could have access to Binance, then I would be a lot more inclined to be mining Binance right now because I could make more money doing it. If I really wanted to, I could take the Binance and exchange it for Ethereum. Um, so there's a lot of options of things you could do out there. But for me right now in the United States, this is, while it's very interesting, it's very exciting, 
Um, I don't know if this makes a lot of sense for me right now. So that being said, uh, I am coming up on 500 subscribers on this channel and I am uh, gonna be doing a giveaway when I do hit 500 subscribers. So I'm uh, thinking what I'll probably do is I will give away this Cortex that I've mined to someone in the uh, that is a subscriber to the channel. Uh, I will give it to someone that can do something with it. So um, keep an eye out for that. Stay tuned. Uh, again, we're, uh, we're getting closer and closer to that 500 sub mark. So uh, that being said, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today. I do hope you have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.